what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of trophy hunters i know i haven't posted in a while been busy went to alabama all that good stuff but uh anyway we're out here doing some uh cat fishing i already cast it out and then i got bluegill on both of those they're cut up bluegill i had some frozen ones but i just started crappie fishing to see if they were biting and i caught one like right off the bat so i was like well, I better start filming. I wasn't actually gonna film. So it should be an exciting video. I think I'm about to start slaying them crappie. But no, I'm out at my uh, grandpa's big pond. So hopefully we can uh, catch some more and uh, stay tuned because it's gonna be a sick video. First cast back with the camera. Second actually. Let's see if we can get another one. Had a bite. There we go. Another crappie. I have two pound line on this sucker, so I gotta be very careful with them. Well, he sure swallowed it down to his uh, ribs. Dang it. Here he is. He's uh, a little bloody, but I'm not gonna keep him or anything. I'm gonna come over here and let him go though. He's just a little guy. Anyway, there he goes. Well, that's number two on the boards. I really want something to start biting these catfishing poles, but I don't know. Maybe they're just not wanting to bite today. But anyway, let's get back to fishing. Got another one. Another small one. That's a little bitty guy. I, I'm telling you, the first one I caught was a lot bigger than this. We'll just let him go if they can get him unhooked. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Want to get in the bigger ones? They might be out deeper. All right, we're back at it. I just broke my lure off right there. That's my cousin, by the way. Oh yeah. Maybe they don't like white. Or blue, I mean. Last one was. All right guys, we got another tiny one on. I know there's big ones in here because we usually catch a whole bunch of them. Goodness. Another like little nine incher. At least they're healthy. Huh. I think I'm just gonna keep a stringer on, or put them all on a stringer and then let them go, take a picture with them. Guess what guys, we caught another little one. This is actually kind of starting to make me mad. All these little babies. Oh, and uh, my, I put that other one on like a little piece of string and I like stuck it in that mud and it just took off with it. So there's one in here with the string in its mouth. I kind of feel bad for it, but yeah, that kind of stinks. Anyway, I'm gonna put this one on there and catch some more. We got another one. I think it's the exact same size as the, oh, it's a tiny bit bigger. Actually, no, no, it's not. There's the other one, like the same size. Yeah. You know, I love to catch fish, but once you're just catching only these little baby ones, it really gets boring. 
Well, we got another one, and I'm pretty sure this one's probably the smallest one I've caught all day. Oh my goodness. Well, that's number five or six. I lost count. There he is. There's those two. Three, then a, the one I caught off camera, then the other two I let go on camera. I'm not really sure. But the main reason I came out here was a catfish. And I ain't caught jack squat. But I guess we'll just put put this sucker on the stringer so I can have a pic picture for my thumbnail. I might go try over there. It's deeper over there. I do that. Let me get this sucker on the stringer. Guys, we when I said catch bass, they were definitely bigger than this. This little thing is tiny. Oh goodness. Oh, well, there he is. Now let's try to catch something bigger. During the summer, you can come out here and just catch fish after fish. It's insane. Well, we have something. It's not very big. Oh. Got another species. Bluegill. Pretty sure it's a hybrid. See the little marks right there. Okay, so we caught crappie, bass, and bluegill. Of course, we haven't caught any catfish yet because, you know, I never catch catfish when I film. But there you go. That size right there is exactly what you want to use for flathead. That's what I use during summer. Big old bluegill like that. Maybe I'll catch it. <laughs> Funny if I caught the same one again. Goodness. I know there's fish in here. And it's been warm the past however many days. Come on. Oh, we got one. Not very big. I do like using this pole though, because it makes everything look like it's big, because it bends so much. Here we go. Mm. Got him. Well, he's bigger than the last one. It is such a pain to get these suckers unhooked when they get hooked right there. Gosh dang it. We got something. Not very, well. It feels a little bigger than. I believe it's a crappie. No, it is a red ear. It's a type of bluegill. I think this summer, you'll slay a whole bunch of them here too. These suckers get huge. Of course, I use a treble hook, so it's going to be a pain to unhook. Oh my goodness. Open up, little guy. Come on. There we got him. See that right there? I caught a 44-pound flathead on that sucker. A sucker just like that last year. Key thing to catfishing, if you want to catch this, well, this isn't always true, so don't go around saying this. If you want to catch big fish, use big bait. Like I went back down to a lake in uh, down south in Missouri here, and uh, this guy had jugs he, or trot lines. He would just leave them out for 
like a day or two and then go check them. Or no, he'd check them every day. But he would just leave them out if not and touch them. He used carp this stinking big. Well, I say that. They're like that. They're huge. And he catch like 80 pound flathead, huge blues, all that. Now, when I'm fishing for blue cat, I usually just use uh, shad, cut shad. I think they like that a lot better than live bait. I can probably count the number of times I've caught in a blue cat on a bluegill. But that might be different for you guys. Oh, I had a bite. The sucker ain't spinning right, and I'm still getting them. Come on, fish, 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 fishy. We got another one, and it's not very big. Oh my goodness, dude. Maybe I need to catch bait for sinking catfishing. I'm so pumped for end of April, May. The big old flathead will start biting. It's so fun. Now, whether you actually have gotten to this part in the video or not, because I really don't have very many subscribers and stuff. Make sure you subscribe, by the way. But during the summer, my flathead videos, I've never filmed before. I just started in like August or something when the catfish were like spawning and crap. But I usually, every time I'd go, I, I'd usually catch like 10, 30 plus pound flathead. Those are the fun videos to watch. And to make sure you tune in for those. Got another one. Well, on this side of the peninsula, I'm either catching small bass or stupid bluegill. And of course it gets hooked in the stinking rib. Oh my goodness. There's too many of them stupid bass in here. There's my grandpa over there. Looks like he's coming down. Oh, got a bite. That one felt bigger. Here, let me stop recording. Well, I said I was gonna stop recording and talk to him and then I cast it again and I got one. Oh, the stupid bluegill. Oh my goodness. I need to start making my sneaking YouTube channel small hunters, small fish hunters. Oh my goodness. At least he didn't swallow it. That's beautiful catfish bait. Oh my goodness. Come on, baby. Give me a big one. Oh, we got another one. Another, oh, it's a little crappie. Everything, I, no, it came off. My goodness, maybe I wanna go try that side again or something, recast my catfish poles. Everything I catch is stinking tiny. So stupid. Well, at least it's a beautiful sunset. I think I'm gonna go try over here. Goodness. Well, guys, I just caught another one, but clearly you didn't see it because I had the camera on time lapse. But here he is. I'd say he's, I don't know, 12 inches, maybe. But he's a lot bigger than the other ones I've been catching. See, I've caught small bass, bluegill on this side, little crappie on that side. I don't know. Maybe I just need to quit. I'll probably fish for another 20 minutes or something. But goodness gracious, this is pitiful. I wouldn't blame me if you didn't watch. Anyway, I'm going to release this sucker and hopefully uh, catch a giant bass or crappie or catfish or something no i'd take a stinking turtle but nothing wants to bite right now so stupid well guys i just let that thing go and 
I think I'm gonna call it quits. I mean, I'm sure I'll catch a whole bunch more. Probably not very big. But I think I've caught enough fish for the day. So I'm gonna reel that in, reel that one in. Then I'm going to probably go talk to my grandparents and head out. So thank you for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. I really don't care about likes. Who cares about likes? No one does. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you watch all the way through, again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you next time.